What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video we're doing loot from 100 runs of Sunwell. Well I've already done 100 Sunwell runs. This is the video where I show you guys how much gold I've made. And the reason why I picked Sunwell is because of a recent video that I just did. And basically if you haven't seen that video Sunwell is now better than it has been in a very long time. Because in Sunwell, you can get these schematics uh, for engineering that drops, and uh, they are needed for the new profession achievements in patch 10.17. You need to craft all of the different goggles, and in return, you get an achievement and also a cosmetic item. So, as you can see, I bought this item for 4,000 gold, now it's 20 on my realm. The sell rate on these items have also gone up drastically. Bought this one for 8,000 gold, now it's over 30,000 gold, and just keeps on going. Like, all of these from 20 to 70,000 gold in my realm, and that's low. In the region, they're much more expensive than this as well. So, they're flying off the auction house, they have a good value. It's uh, not a material farm, but you get a higher market value per hour. Um... And they sell way faster than your ordinary, like, let's say, transmog item. So I consider this to be a super solid gold farm to do right now. Uh, and before we dive into the specifics of the video and the results, of course, big thank you to all of you guys that has supported me and my channel by picking up this 0 to 10 million gold guide. The guide is over 180 pages with the best methods and tactics that I personally use in order to achieve multiple gold caps. And even better, it comes with a lifetime of free updates. So when you get the guide and whenever there's a new patch or even a new expansion for the game, I update the exact same guide and I send the updated version to your mail for free. So if that sounds interesting, check it out with the link in the description. And don't forget to use the discount code the Dragonflight for 50% off. Now, Sunwell is located on Isle of Keldanas, which you can get to through Shatrat. It is a portal. The run itself, I showed that in the video that I just uploaded, but it's uh it doesn't take you a long time. Uh you just kill the trash. Make sure to not kill any bosses, because when you kill bosses, you're going to get uh, locked to the raid. But it's a very simple uh, raid to run. Uh, and uh, key note, like, I'm not looting right now, because I already have loot from 100 bag uh, runs in my bags. But you should always loot the mobs. Like, the, uh, the loot will not be sent to your mailbox unless you're killing a boss. Like, boss loot gets sent to mail... Nothing else. So loot the mobs as you're going. Uh, make sure to kill every single uh, mob though. Because there's not that many mobs that you can kill in the raid. Before you have to reset the run. So you definitely want to make sure that you get all the uh, the mobs possible. So clearing out those guys. Going up this pathway right here. And uh, we're making sure to kill these guys as well. And also besides from the schematics for the goggles that you can get. It, it's TBC, so you obviously also have a chance of getting TBC World Drop Epics and World Drop Plants and Patterns. Uh, so keep that in mind, there's, uh, there's a lot of good items that you can get, but you're not killing that many mobs, though, so the chance is not super high. And this video was really tough for me to record because I did all my 100 runs on my live stream where we did loot appraiser challenge, where basically you compete with people and you can see what they get and whoever gets the most gold wins, right? And uh, I was like, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not looking forward to showing you guys the loot that I got from 100 runs because there was people who did 10 runs and they got the same amount of loot as I got from 100 runs. In fact, there was people who did... Uh, who did, like, join me three hours back to back, and in all those hours, like, each hour, they got exactly the same loot that I got from ten hours. Three times, back to back. Uh, what I mean by that is, I did a hundred runs, and I only got the three schematics, right? Uh, while they did the three runs back to back, and they got the three schematics each time they did it. So absolutely insane how bad my luck has been on these 100 runs. Uh, I did get the uh, life-giving cloak, which is really bad because they share us appearances with the most basic cloaks in TBC. 
I got one other world drop epic, which is a maze, unique appearance. That's okay, but it's not one like one of the uh, expensive ones. Now, all of these are just bad patterns and plans, and you're gonna get a lot of those. Uh, like, versatility prime is decent, this cloak is decent, but most of these items are quite easy to get, and they drop often. Uh, like, you can see some of these have an okay value, but a lot of them are just like a couple hundred gold to a couple thousand gold. They're absolutely nothing to brag about and as i said they drop quite often you're also going to get a lot of cloth but that's nothing worth mentioning you get a lot of epic gems but they are sadly doing really bad right now so if i use my add-on to calculate the how much value i got so you can see i set it to the minimum buyout on my realm because if i have this on uh, the region market value average so like the uh, average price across every realm in eu it says 403,000 gold in my bags, but if I put it down to uh, minimum buyout, which is literally the price of my realm, it's down to 201,000 gold. So that means that I made 20,000 gold an hour. That being said, it doesn't take an hour to do 10 runs. So doing 100 runs take you 5 hours. So 40,000 gold an hour with effective farming time. But still, super unlucky. And I don't want you guys to be demotivated from looking at my 100 runs. Because it was extremely unlucky. And you're definitely going to get more loot than I got. Because this wasn't good at all. But it was nice to test it. It's also nice to show this aspect from gold making. Where you just have the most unluckiest streak ever and you don't really make that much gold happens to everyone happens to me as well so it's important to be transparent about that uh but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video so if you guys like the video and you want to see more like this make sure you are subscribed to the youtube channel that way you'll get notified whenever the next video drops with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all back in at tomorrow's video bye bye